What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dominic and I am from Perfect Swings USA. And today we're going to be introducing a new drill series to the channel called Quick Tips. And what we're going to be doing is talking about some of the issues we see in our lessons with hitters. We're going to dissect those issues and then just give you some drills to help fix those problems. So today we're going to be talking about swinging across the body. Let's get into it. So we're talking about swinging across the body and what that typically looks like is guys when they swing is they start out, they work across their body and continue that direction versus going through the ball this way and trying to promote that solid contact. So there are a couple of things that that stems from. Uh, number one, and this is probably the most common, especially for younger guys, is when people set up and their hands are out here, when they load, they don't bring them out, bring them back in like you want to. They start here and stay here, and they end up swinging across their body because they think hands inside the ball, just like every other coach tells them. So they just continue that way instead of forward. Uh, the second spot that we see it happen is we call it squashing the bug. And what this looks like is when guys load, they get back here and they just rotate on that back foot. Their foot typically stays flat and they don't actually push off that foot and go forward. And so what happens there is when they rotate, their upper body goes back and they end up swinging across their body like that. And then the third, third thing we see it in is when the player loads, their shoulders stay parallel to the ground. So what that looks like, I'll show you with my bat here. They'll start their load, they're parallel to the ground, and because every action has an equal and opposite reaction, their shoulders are gonna stay on that same plane when they go through their swing. And what that causes is they start here, their shoulders are going to push the bat out versus push the bat forward. So those are usually where we see those issues stem from. So let's talk about how to fix it. All right, so the first thing that we talked about before is just simply in the setup and starting out and staying out and causing you to swing across the ball. So the quick fix for there is obviously going to be take those hands and bring them back in. And then of course, when you're swinging, try and think about working in to out. But most importantly, bring those hands in and keep them there. So the second issue that we talked about was squawking the butt. And again, that is loading and staying on that back foot and almost coming backwards. We're gonna do a whole separate video on that where we have five or six different things that you can do to fix it. But quickly, I will say that whenever you're loading or striding or working on it, just think about going back onto that back leg and coming forward on your front foot, actually pushing off that back leg. And you wanna see a little bit of movement in your upper body towards the ball. All right, so next we're gonna talk about our shoulders and our load and stride. And again, what we're trying to avoid here is loading and striding with our shoulders parallel to the ground because that's going to cause casting of the hands. So what you can do here is you can use your bat for this, but if you have a PVC pipe or a broomstick, we prefer to use that. The longer the object, the more visual cue you'll have during this drill. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pipe, we're going to put it across our chest like this, and we're simply just going to load and stride just like normal. And we're trying to create that shoulder end. So we're trying to look like this, and we're trying to avoid being like that. And if you have a swing pad trainer, it's gonna have even more benefit for you because then you can try and match the board angle. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna load and stride again, but we're going to try, try to match the board. So we're gonna be right here, load and stride. And again, just trying to match that board just like that. So for these last two drills that I'm gonna talk about, we're actually going to use our swing path trainer. And this is gonna be really beneficial to whoever's using it because it's gonna do more than just fix the issue of swinging across your body. And what I mean by that is with a lot of players, especially younger players, there's usually a disconnect between what you're doing and what you're actually doing. And what I mean by that, to give you an example is if I'm swinging across my body and a coach is telling me to correct it, hey, try and stay a little bit more up the middle, keep your hands in, and you're trying to make that correction, there's nothing telling you whether you're doing it or not, except for the coach, right? But there's no 
There's nothing in your swing letting you know what exactly is happening. So with this, because we have the physical barriers of the guide, the guide board, excuse me, and the guide bar, I'm gonna know exactly what's happening throughout my swing, right? If I'm swinging across and I hit the guide bar or I'm hitting this front corner, I know that I'm still swinging across and I have to adjust my swing to stay more up the middle. So it's gonna play a huge role with these last two drills. Um, and it's also going to provide visual cues so you have a goal of where you're trying to line up your swinging everything. And again, those barriers that are forcing you to swing that certain way. So with the first drill that we're gonna do, I have it set up middle, middle, hitting the center field. And the adjustment I'm gonna make here is I'm gonna take this back end and I'm gonna bring it in about an inch or two towards me. And so what this is going to do visually is show me where my hands and where my barrel is supposed to be going. And also again, talking about those physical barriers, if I don't follow this swing path, I'm gonna know it. And then I'll have to self adjust on my own. So you're swinging normally, trying to take your hands to the ball, stay in to out, and eventually that'll fix that swing across the body issue. Uh, the second drill that you can do here is set it back up normally and I'm going to take the T-topper and put it down at the end. And so what this is going to do is it's going to force me to keep more of my bat over the board. So if I do end up pulling off the ball and swinging across, I'm going to hit right up here on the corner. Right? So it's going to force me to stay over the board and through the ball much longer instead of pulling off. But those are all the drills we're going to be talking about today. If you guys have any questions about what we did, or if you have any issues that you're working through, or maybe one of your players is working through, and you'd like us to talk about it, leave it in the comments below. Um, we'd love to talk about it uh, another time, make a whole video for you about it. But until the next one, we'll see you soon.